Good morning everyone and on today's episode of Pinch Hell's Garage we're going to show you how to convert a power steering Mark II into a manual steering uh, or manual rack. Super super simple so stay tuned. your power steering rack obviously mine's on the ground now it fell over but pretty simple pull it out it uses a 13 millimeter bolt right here that goes right onto the actual rack itself it only goes on one way if you can see that right there has a, has a notch for it to go in now if you pulled your dash out of your mark II, what you're gonna need to do is get underneath your dash mark two and go into the steering column Fall all the way down. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Until you get to this spot right here. Now you'll see right here. Here's the rest of the actual steering column right here. Um, so you'll notice it has the same exact uh, notch here. That's where it lines up with the steering um, uh, extender. So that's a 13 millimeter bolt here too. So here they are. Pretty simple. So. How do you get the manual extender? I went on eBay and I used the part number. Um, the part number I will post in just a minute uh, down in the description. Take that bolt off, take the other bolt off, pull the rack down, or knock it down obviously like that. And then another part you're going to need is you're going to need a second uh, steering rack uh, bracket because these use uh, two of them versus one because uh, of the different style rack. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll show you how to put it all back in. Um, so just stay tuned, and I'll show you guys there in a minute. So your next step here is to actually install the the new manual shaft. Now there's a long sh uh, part, and then there's a short part with the uh, U-joints. The short one goes actually in the car. The out uh, the long one stays on the outside. So just install. Pretty straightforward. Just go in. Try to keep it from falling because you have to go in from in from out in if you go try to go from the inside out it's a little bit more complicated but it's pretty straightforward and you guys will see here if you guys see that right there where my hand is it's kind of hard but we'll see what I do the best I can to get you guys a good angle so what you're going to need to do here, you'll see here there's a, um, a notch, a notch um, is where the spring, you have this little spring here, and the spring will go here, and you're going to need to, uh, it's going to give you a little bit of tension, but it will let you do the install. where it becomes tricky because that spring like I said is going to keep you from getting it in there nicely but I'll show you without the spring first so it should go I'd recommend some uh, lubricating oil so it goes in smoothly and then that should go all the way up to here about halfway through up the shaft or the splines and then bolt it down and then get it onto the other side um, and it should be significantly longer than your uh, power steering version once you have it installed it will give you the length that you need to install a manual rack and the reason why I'm going to a manual uh, rack on this car 
two reasons. Number one, I don't have to worry about anything. Don't have to worry about power steering links. Worry about power steering pump. Don't have to worry about any of that. And number two, you gain actually more power to your engine. You have one less rotating piece uh, or l one less accessory on your uh, on your engine, so you actually gain some extra power. So not too shabby. I think it's a really good idea, and it's actually more cost effective to do this than it is to um, uh, to repair or replace all your power steering components. And you'll see here. Once you get the actual uh, bolt in, it's going to be a little bit longer than what you use originally. So bear by mind with that. You might have to get another bolt. Um, this might not be long enough. Um, it, might, it might be too long. So for the moment. Uh, we'll see right now because I can thread it all the way through probably use the nut and then use the nut to squeeze it but that right there is how you install it in the uh, on, on the inside of the car now the shaft oh, excuse me the shaft only goes to a certain point because um, the, the bolt here actually holds the shaft where it's supposed to be aligned after that you don't need to go any further it's pretty straightforward from there so now we're going to work on the actual uh, manual rack and we're going to mount that one um, and then we're going to actually put the whole subframe back in and get that all taken care of so stay tuned for some more uh, thanks for watching right now we'll show you guys some more in a little bit all right so your next step is to get your rack uh, your subframe and your uh, manual rack uh, ready to be lifted back up into place now now that I'm looking at this, is actually on backwards. <laughs> Didn't even notice it. Oh man, I gotta take it all back apart. Didn't even notice uh, that the rack was actually backwards. But we have it. You're gonna get your. Um, you're gonna lift your rack back up. Right, so once you get your subframe kind of lined up, the next thing is you want to lower it just a tad. And right here. Um, since it's not bolted anything, you can actually get it on. Um, it's got two sides to it. It's got a flat side and a curved side. You'll see that right here, a curved and flat. You want the curved side this way. That's where the bolt is actually going to go into. Um, kind of like that. And then you want to jack it up a little bit. That way it wants to go in. There we go. And then just get it all the way up. And then bolt it all up and then you should be done. That my friends is how you install a manual rack. If you got a Mark II with the power steering rack in it. I mean it's not that much work but it's just a pain in the booty. But it's dual it's very doable. The part just look up on eBay MK2 manual steering rack uh, shaft and you'll find it. Uh, I'll add the part number down below and a link to the uh, eBay store that carries them brand new. Alright, thanks again for watching this episode of Pinchel's Garage. I appreciate you guys and just keep it going because we're almost done with this Mark II finally. <sighs> it's been so long. Almost two years in the making. Peace out peeps. Radio